Hello, Professor Amy, and a pleasant day to you. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Darsan Saravanan, and my matrix number is 285778. Today, I present you a video of my interview with Green Home Property Hub SDN BHD. This interview concerns the business ethics within their organization. Let's go. Hello Ms. Avikra, my name is Darshan and I am a student from School of Economic Finance and Banking in University of Malaysia. So today I am conducting this interview to fulfill my obligation to interview the ethics and governance of the SME company. My objective is to learn more about business ethics that your company follow. Firstly, could you please tell me about your business before we get into detail? Yes, sure can. My company name is Green Home Property Hub Senior Mopai. We are doing real estate business. The nature of the business is buying and selling residential property. Mainly, we run our business based in the Kobaru area only. We have a lot of customers from many different walks of life. Most of our customers are a first-time buyer and buy property for their own use as well. Some of them buy property to invest for their future. So far, we have helped so many people out there to own their first home and also to meet their needs. Currently, I have around 15 to 20 genuine agents who are still working with me since the business commences. All of my agents are registered real estate negotiators and have their own licenses. Okay, so what is the vision and mission of this company? My company, Green Home's vision is to become the most trusted and respected real estate firm in our region, known for our commitment to excellence, innovation and social responsibility. Whereas our mission are committed to integrity, transparency and fineness in all that we do, and we strive to build long-lasting relationships with our customers founded on trust and mutual respect. Okay, Miss, in your opinion, it is important to have business ethics in your company, and why? On my point of view, yes, it is very essential to have business ethics not only in my company but in any company. Without a strong set of ethics, a business can run a fall of the law, encounter financial pitfalls, and also moral dilemmas. Therefore, it is important to have good business ethics because Good business ethics ensure customers, employees, and other stakeholders that a company obeys the rules and does the right thing. For example, trust. Trust is essential to a successful business and it is helpful in building reputation with customers, staff, and other parties. Customers, employees, and investors are all more likely to be attracted to and remain loyal to a business that has a solid reputation for ethical behavior. It also means keeping a good working environment where workers are more likely to be happy and motivated if they work in a truthful way. How would you describe business ethics in your company? Okay, actually business ethics, which means implementing appropriate business policies or practices with regard to arguably controversial subjects. In this world of business, it is moral values that actually guides how people and organizations act and make decisions. It means a ratio of how business choices affect different groups such as employees, customers, shareholders, suppliers and the community as a whole. To be precise, we do business in a reliable way by serving our customers in the right means to meet their needs, protecting our customers' data privacy, treating our staff fairly, avoiding any conflicts of interest and making sure the workplace is safe for all. Ethical business practices are not only the right thing to do, but they can also help the organization be successful and last for a long time. Simply to say, business ethics is a key part of the success of any organization and it is obligatory to all business activities. Okay, Miss, my next question is how do you make sure your business practices align with ethical standards? How do I really make sure that my business practices align with ethical standards is by showcasing the ethical leadership. First and foremost, as a leader, I make sure I have defined and aligned the values. For example, every employee, including myself, as a code of ethics. During training session, our employees will be planted with code of ethics that they will have to obey. So it has been a guide for all of our staffs to make sure they work in a moral way. Usually, the training section will teach my staff things like how to handle conflicts of interest, how to protect customer data and privacy, and how to make sure fair labor practices. Besides that, I also practice the code lead by example. I believe that to build an ethical company, we must start from the top down. 
For example, displaying the characteristics and behaviors which I want my staff to embrace and practice. It instills respect and lets my employees know that I truly believe in them and trust them to work in accordance with the example I have set. So what do you think are the benefit of having strong ethical culture in the company? Having a strong ethical culture in, in a company can provide many benefits actually. Like strong trust can be built, improve reputation, reduce legal risk, increase employee engagement, improve vision making and there are many more. These kind of benefits can help ensure long term success and sustainability of the business. For example, in our company, we portray a strong ethics which helps to attract customers to our products and services. Our customers are happy and confident in knowing that they are dealing with an honest company. Okay, Miss, what do you think are some common ethical challenges that the company faces and how will you address them? Based on my opinion, ethical challenges or ethical dilemma are always might occur in various ways. Not only in my company, but in any company, it might occur. Some common ethical challenges could be said as unethical leadership, toxic workplace culture, discrimination, harassment, and etc. For example, my company has been faced common ethical issues like a conflict of interest when employees bring their personal related customer to benefit each other and discrimination where some don't like to work with opposite gender. It's kind of hard to address all ethical challenges we face, but here we practice transparency work where we promote an open communication among each other to avoid unethical practices. I personally remind all my staff here not to hold any grudges towards anyone and be frank if they are facing any issues related to work. So far, I managed to provide a friendly and good working environment for my employees and I am very happy about it. So basically, can you describe a time when you saw someone act unethically at work and what do you do? It's actually a good question. Our company has faced the ethical issues in recent days actually. Starting off this year, if I'm not mistaken, I find a new staff. A job store was all about to do marketing and meet the targets that I set for her. There was a day I found out that she's being unethical. Her weekly tasks are to provide a sales listing to our agents so that my agents can close the deal as soon as possible. And on that day, I found that the list of properties that she provided to my agents was sold by another agency meaning that the property listing is being misled. So then only I come to know that my marketing staff is silently collaborate with another agency to close the deals. By doing so, she earned extra money from the other agency actually. All her actions were totally unacceptable since she violated and breached the company rules and regulations. Therefore, I decided to terminate her due to her unethical behavior towards the company. Okay, Miss, how will you handle a situation where there was a conflict between ethical consideration and financial target of business goals? If a conflict arises between ethical considerations and financial targets of business goals, it is important for me to address in a transparent manner. Usually, I will engage in open communication with my employees about the situation in order to come up with the best decision-making process which will benefit the company. I would prefer to identify the source of the conflict and evaluate the potential consequences of each course of action. Sometimes it may be necessary to give priority to ethical considerations over financial targets or business goals. We have had this type of case before when a customer is willing to bribe all parties involved in order to get the property in his end as soon as possible. Therefore, he asked us to speed up the entire process that he will be able to own the property without telling us the proper reason. As a result, we are suspicious and we, are, we have decided to terminate our business relationship with that particular customer. For me, it is important to prioritize long-term sustainability and success over short-term financial gain. Okay, man, this is my last question. Is there any question that I, I haven't asked you but Miss are willing to share with us? Okay, so far all your questions were good enough and I'm happy to share my value points for each of the questions. I believe 
that you have covered and gathered all the ideas, facts and opinions in order to complete your assessment. I wish you all the best and thank you for choosing my company. Finally, Ms. Monica, I would like to extend a heartfelt thank you on behalf of University of Television and myself for taking time out of your busy schedule to participate in this interview. Once again, I thank you, Ms. It's my pleasure. Thank you.